Well, hello on Life with MG fans. Uh, it's a gloomy Monday morning in Santa Barbara, but I figured I'd come out and do a little metal detecting over at uh, just to the right of the Santa Barbara Pier, as you can see it right there. Um, it was a pretty nice weekend in Santa Barbara, so there were a lot of people down at the beach, um, and a lot of the people. A lot of those people, they sit right in front of the, there's a bunch of hotels that you can see right around along the whole beach right here. And a lot of those people that stay at the hotels, they come out to this beach directly in front to the right of the pier. So we're going to go do a little metal detecting today and see if we could uh, find any of their lost valuables. I see the beach is pretty nice and wide and clear. So I'm going to start right next to the lifeguard tower. Um, I figure, you know, a lot of people are probably going to set up their towels right around the lifeguard tower and uh, right over here to the edge of the beach. So let's go, let's go ahead and see what we could find today. All right, so we're using the Garrett, the Garrett Ace 400 metal detector. We're going to turn it on and we're going to set it for jewelry sensitivity mode. And as one of my YouTube uh, viewers suggested, don't dig anything under 40 which is right here so anything under 40 um, he recommended not to dig so let's go ahead and see what we got let's get going there we go It's pinpointed. It's saying it's right on top, so let's try to dig it out. Oh, I found it already. It looks like it's a nice bottle cap. Dos Equis. Ooh. So even the 90s, I guess because of the circular um, nature of the ball cap, giving a uh, giving a really good reading. So anyways, we'll get this and get it off the beach and keep going. Yep, nothing else here. Okay, our first find. But it's more like a 25, so I'm not gonna dig that one. And it's pretty deep, eight plus. Um, now let's try to dig it, let's see what happens. First find turned out to be foil, so my uh, buddy is definitely right. At least so far, don't dig anything under 40 on the jewelry setting. It turned out to be some nice foil. There you go. Just under 40, as you can see right there. So, he's right. Let's go on.
something in here. Let's check it out. Oh, oh, what is that? Finally, something. Whoa. All right, let me take this metal detector off and show you guys what we got here. Whoa. That is pretty cool. Looks like a little, little pocket knife. But it looks fairly old. A little bit rusted. Nice. Wow. It's got a nice wooden handle. Looks really old. No markings I could see on it. Looks kind of like a sickle. It's got a curved blade and it's really, really, really sharp. A little bit weathered and tarnished, but no markings on it, at least that I can see. All right, I'm gonna have to put this away and maybe take it in to have it kind of looked at by somebody who's into knives. This looks really old. You could see the the things holding it together are kind of, you know, old looking. It doesn't look modern, like a modern fastener. It looks like a really old school method of holding things together. Anyways, cool. This is our, this is my first uh, cool find. All right, let's keep going. It's a good, uh, it's a good uh, find so far. This one seems to be pretty good. It's got a reading in the 90s. And it's not too deep. It's four to six inches. Let's pinpoint that one. Okay. Let's dig this one up. Oh yeah, there's something. That lot of junk. There's a coin. Cool. Looks like it's a dime. You know what? This looks silver. This looks like a silver dime. That is pretty cool. It's a 1953 it looks to be like a silver dime. Well, I could tell it's uh, the color of it looks, you know, it looks different from a regular dime. It's pretty old too, 1953. That's, that's not bad. So far, this beach looks pretty good. Found two things today that are better than my usual finds, which are generally coins and junk and bottle caps. This is actually a pretty good find, silver dime. I bet you this is worth a little bit more than just a dime. But it's not really about the money, it's about just being out here. So we'll keep going, let's keep going.
Well, we know what that is. That is a can of beer. See, even a can of beer, it gives me a 60 to 75% reading on jewelry, which, you know, it's not cool. If that thing was eight, a foot underground, I'm not gonna dig a can of beer up. What I will do is clean it up. I wanna bring it us. I'll leave that behind, we'll come pick it up. Oh, this seems like something here. It's giving me a reading of 90, four to six inches. So let's pinpoint that right there. And let's dig it. Usually where there's beer, Oh, yep, there's more beer caps. So I reckon because of the, no, it's a, let's see what we're lucky to find today. It's an angry orchard hard cider bottle cap. Yay. It seems to me like the, the ACE 400 uh, detects, you know, the circular pattern of this you know this uh, of coins I guess and also obviously bottle caps because they're circular so anyways we'll pick this off and get it off the beach so this serves two purposes not only are you out on a beautiful day right at the beach with the pier view and the ocean we're also cleaning up the beach a little bit while having some time and spending some time outside not in a in a COVID-19 appropriate manner. So let's keep going. Let's see what else we find. Well, whatever it is, I got it out of the hole and it's now somewhere on top here. So we're gonna try to find it. Okay, finally found it. I was a lot digging for what looks to me like another dime. This time, a really tarnished dime. I'm gonna have to clean this one at home and find out what years. Let's see if I could find out. Clean it off a little bit. It's a 2017 dime, and it's really, really tarnished. I guess silver is uh, keeps a lot better at the beach. So, two dimes today, and a knife. One silver dime, that's pretty cool. And what looks like a really old pocket knife, and a regular dime. So not a bad day for, uh, for a day I spent at the beach. Let's keep going. There's something. It's reading about 60 to 75. Well, right around there. Only four inches. All right, let's dig it out. 
Oh, nice. What is that? Oh, that looks like a little bracelet. Wow, that's pretty cool. Looks like a little bracelet. Let's see if it has any markings on there. Mm. There is something really small there. Eight two five or five eight five. I'll have to bring that one at home. Oh, here's better. KBN925. KBN and maybe a C. Not really sure. I'll have to bring that one home and look it up online. But um, it's a pretty cool looking bracelet. I think it's silver. It looks silver. And they wouldn't put markings on regular metal, I assume. Hmm. Wow, what a successful day, guys. This is the best day I've had yet. I guess it must be the beach. This is a really popular beach with tourists because of the, all the hotels you see right there across the... Directly, literally in front of the beach. So over the weekend, lots of people just come down here and lay down at the beach and soak up the sun and you can see why because it's beautiful and the harbor is right there and the pier is right there it's just a gorgeous day so what a successful day today all right we'll keep going see if we can find anything else keep on detecting now that we made it home i want to guys i want to show you guys a little bit closer the loot we found today beautiful old what it appears old pocket knife that has a really interesting shape blade if you open it it's it's like i think it's for cutting grass maybe i don't know you guys uh chime in if you know exactly what it is it appears to be really pretty old because the fastener are the fasteners are very they're like nails almost you know there there's nothing machined about them also the ends of it and it also looks like it's handcrafted anyways and there are no markings on it so that's pretty interesting uh second we found a 1953 silver dime pretty cool looks like it's in pretty rough shape but nonetheless pretty cool and what appears to be a silver bracelet also, I think I have... Oh, there it is. I found another dime that's a more modern dime. I think it's... Uh, I think I read on there 2017, but it's pretty... pretty. Um, it's been there for a long time, it appears, because it's pretty tarnished. So, there you go. All this stuff on a one day at the beach. Spent playing around for maybe about an hour. Started getting pretty hot, so I had to leave after that, but uh, pretty good haul for just uh, an hour or so. All right, subscribe. Thank you.